Halt! In the name of the Enlightened One, present yourself. Lady de Sade, emissary of the Congregation of Merchants on Tier D. I have come to present my regards to your governor. We have been expecting your visit, Your Excellency. Welcome. May he light your way. Answer me. Why? Why are you doing this? Behold your so-called gods. You are demons. They burn. They are nothing. You shed tears for this creature while your heart should be full of joy. Welcoming the light. <gasps> Get your pagan foul teachings. Embrace the true faith. You are mad. Inquisitor? You! Stop where you are! The pagan stink of these soulless natives taints you. You bring demon-spawned barbarians through our gates. 
This man just killed some helpless soul in front of our eyes, and he calls us barbarians. Who are you to address me with such familiarity? I am the Inquisitor Aloysius, and you will be going nowhere lest your answers give me satisfaction. Do you believe that the God of Light is the one and only God? Don't tell me that you are going to humor this crazed assassin. If I want to complete my mission, I believe I have no other choice. Yes, I believe it to be so. Really? If that's the case, what is the name of the most holy of men? He who transmitted the Divine Testament. For how long are you going to stand this questioning? He insults you. Silence, demon spawn. I am not asking you the questions. Everyone in the world knows that the holy prophet and founder of Teleme is named Matthias. You seem well versed in your readings of the righteous faith. One final question, and you may continue along your path. What gift did his sacred divinity award us when we accepted the words of his divine prophet? He gave us magic, but it is a rather tricky theological enigma. Many would argue that he offered us far more than that. Precisely. Precisely. Your answers blur and your tongue wavers. You are no true believer. Your words seem tainted in lies, rules, and deceitful purpose. You shall have to learn to live with it. We have tolerated this interrogation long enough. Your companion's attitude reveals your lack of faith and commitment. Your very presence in our holy city is outrageous blasphemy. May he guide my hand. A bit of poison on my brain. Then let's go! This time, brute force has prevailed, but the light always triumphs in the end. I will not forget our encounter, and I am certain that we shall meet again. Young lady, pardon me, are you not part of the new governor's entourage? I'm his cousin, and I'm accompanying him on his mission to Tirfredi. What can I do for you, father? Bishop Petrus, how divinely fortunate this is. Did you know that I had the honor of meeting you at your uncle's court when you were a child? I would never have imagined that you would grow up to resemble the island natives so closely. The island was yet to be discovered. How could you have known? 
<laughs> you haven't lost your clever little tongue. You were always quite a remarkable young girl. I'm on my way to New Serene as an ambassador to the new governor. Do you think there would be room for me to accompany you? The roads are not truly safe. I must first meet the Mother Cardinal to present my respects on behalf of my cousin. I will accompany you, and then we can take the road together. I'm so happy our paths have crossed once again. Your Eminence, in the name of the Congregation of Merchants, I present my best regards. May the light bless you and accompany you on these grounds with inspired guidance. I thank you. We truly wish that this visit will strengthen the ties between our two nations. I learned that you crossed paths with that of Inquisitor Aloysius. I'm extremely sorry that this visit took a violent turn. Aloysius's faith is sometimes too absolute. I hope that you have it in you to look beyond it and forgive his zeal. Another subject brings me as well. The Malachor. The horrible blood plague decimating our peoples. A terrible matter that worries us all and reveals our imperfections and sinful nature. For he would never have allowed such an evil to spread without a deeper reason, a fault. Our theologians are certain that the Malachor is the work of a curse. And we have discovered that this island is home to a cult that venerates willfully a horrifying demon. What a fortuitous coincidence. A practical excuse for sending the Inquisition out to set the island ablaze. We must unearth this cult and tear it out by its sinister, sinful roots. We started to investigate a village not far from here where strange happenings have been reported. I have begun investigations, and I confirm that a demon is certainly active in the area. Alas, the population is very secretive, and we have great difficulty gleaning any useful information. But if the congregation would help us in this matter, in other words, if the Malachor troubles your cousin as much as myself, report to his majesty that the destruction of this pagan cult is the only way to eradicate the plague, and his help in obtaining any information from the natives would be extremely welcomed. Be certain that your message will be transmitted, Mother Cardinal. I look forward to our next encounter. Welcome to the best holy item shop in San...
Goodbye. May the enlightened always keep you. Please, I come because of a message that was sent to me. Wait, this is the Onol Menawi of the Lugay the Blau. No. By the Enlightened, look at this body. These people have killed an Inquisitor, and they probably made us come here so that we too meet the same fate. I doubt it. They would have attacked us immediately. Let's see what they have to say to us. I came following the instructions you had left the Secretary of our Embassy. But I wasn't expecting to find you near the corpse of a member of the Ordo Luminous. And we didn't think that the Anol Menawi we were told about would come with another son. Stop! This one is different. And we need their help. We were told that there was a woman different from the other Renaikse amongst the Lugayed Blau. Someone who sometimes helped our people. This is why we talked to the man in the large house. But we don't really know who you are. My name is Desade. I'm the legate of the congregation. It means that I'm in charge of the diplomacy with the other nations. And yes, 
I have helped your people a few times. A diplomat is someone who talks, right? Not someone who fights. <laughs> I know how to fend for myself, if that's your question. But will you tell me why you made me come here? Two nights ago, we attacked a group of Red Sons who were taking away some of our people. Many of them fled. But we captured this man, and we made him talk. We wanted to know where they took our brothers. And he talked about a secret camp. Why would the Inquisition take natives to a secret camp? To confuse their minds. They torture them until they renounce the truth and praise the sun. This red sun was mocking us. He said they would burn us like the others. He had killed some of my brothers. So I killed him. I don't have a lot of affection for the Ordo Luminous. But I doubt this man deserved such a fate. And did our people deserve to be burned? No, of course not. That's not what I meant. If what you say is true, then indeed. We cannot let the Inquisitors continue. But, because you killed them, we can only take your word for it. Maybe not. The Red Sun had a key on him. And also some words sealed in bark. We do not know how to set them free. But the Renaigse do, don't they? The letter ordered this man to join the escort party of a group of captives. This partly confirms what you told me. Do the words say where the camp is located? No, but the address of the Inquisitor is written. What is an address? This is how we refer to the place we live in. I suppose the key you found is the key to his door. So you can go to his house and look for more words? I suppose so. You must do it. Or the suns will keep burning our people. What's your opinion, Petrus? This warrior isn't wrong, even though I disapprove of her methods. If we let the Ordo Luminous continue to do this, we will have the same problems with the natives as the Alliance. Very well. I will go visit this man's home. I will come back to you if I learn anything more. Hurry! Our brothers may be dying in the meantime. back to town. We'll wait for you here. We need to know where they are taking our brothers. May the Enlightened bless you.
tomb. This letter mentions a secret camp. Apparently our man was involved in its creation. It also talks about a chest he would have had. In the quarters of the Order, here in San Mateus, we may find clues there that will allow us to discover the location of the camp. The key we found must open this chest. Let's leave. Let's go and see what it contains. It's a key. Most likely the key to a chest, with the emblem of the Ordo Luminous. I don't think we'll find anything else here. Let's leave and see what this chest contains. Hey, you! Who are you? And what are you doing in Father Claudius' home? De Sarde. I'm the Legate of the Congregation. My colleague has been away for the last few days. May I know exactly what it is about your status as a diplomat that gives you the right to enter his home in his absence? To be truthful, my friend is only accompanying me. I am the one who was visiting this home, precisely because I was hoping to find out where Father Claudius might be. I was sent by the Cardinal Mother, of course. Really? Well, I find that very strange. Why would the Mother Cardinal ask that some strangers who do not belong to our order try to find him? How would we know? Perhaps you'd like us to go find her together. I'm sure she'll be delighted to see how you've been treating the representative of one of her allies. That won't be necessary, but know that I am keeping an eye on you. As you wish. I hope I don't see you again, Father. This snake gave up too quickly. I suspect that we'll soon meet our new friend again. We should make use of this moment of respite to go visit the quarters of the Order and find the chest there. Let's hope they aren't infested with members of the Inquisition. Thanks to these documents, we'll be able to show the natives where the conversion camp is, and the times when new prisoner convoys will get there too. I hope the warriors will find a discreet way to set their comrades free. Attacking a camp of the Order could quickly turn into a slaughter for both sides.
Elixir is back. So, did you discover anything? I found some information that should allow you to locate the conversion camp. And I also found a note about a prisoner convoy coming soon. Why come and tell us all of this if your intention is just to betray us? Betray you? How so? You're not the ones this so-called legate betrayed. We are. And that a missionary as eminent as you has helped her, Petrus. I would never have thought it possible. The Ordo Luminous is prepared to start waging a merciless war against the natives, with the sole purpose of converting them in a secret camp which is nothing but a torture room. <laughs> and you dare to show such disdain towards me? I take it as a compliment. What are you talking about? Are you saying Claudius managed to complete his great conversion camp project? Don't pretend that you did not know. I did not, but now that I do, I will do everything in my power to continue his work. And the first step will be to eliminate those who would denounce us. The Mother Cardinal focuses too much on politics, when she should be following her faith instead. We will fight these monsters by your side, on Maybe in life you protect me in this battle! May the shadow engulf our enemies! Take a potion! Ah.